it's important to make it clear that changing the key signature is not the same as changing the key of a song. Changing the key signature serves to set the tone of the music, thus avoiding the writing of accidents and can be used before or after editing a score. If you don't know how to use this function, click on the link in the description below this video. The transpose function is used to change the tone of the whole song or of a specific piece that has already been written. With the score in progress, select the desired measures or the complete score using the Ctrl A shortcut. Go to the Note Input tab and click on the Transpose button or use the Shift T shortcut. A new window will open. In the upper part, Transpose by Key, we can modify the tone by choosing between three options. Closest means that the writing will be modified through the shortest interval. In other words, if the song is in G major and you want to change it to E major, the writing will be lower. It will be remade in the interval of descending minor third and not of ascending sixth major. If you choose the up or down options, you control exactly the interval direction that will be applied when transposing. Another way to specify the pitch change is to choose the interval. In the same window, choose the option Transpose by Interval. Using the up or down options, control the direction of transposition. In the first gap, choose the quality of the range. In the second gap, choose the size of the gap. At the bottom of the same window, if the transpose key signature option is checked, the transpose function will automatically change the key signature of the score. If this function is disabled, the writing will undergo a change of key and the key signature will be maintained. Below, we can enable the Use Double Sharps or Flats function so that the transposition faithfully follows the interval theory used in writing. If we disable this function, Sibelius will automatically use the enharmonization feature. That is, it will exchange, for example, an F double sharp for a G. Good job to everyone!